Hey, what's going on people? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to create methods in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and yeah, enjoy the show. All right, people, methods. A method performs a section of code whenever it's called, also known as invoking a method. And the benefit of using a method is that it lets us reuse code without writing it multiple times. Here's a scenario. Let's say that we have to write a program where we need to sing happy birthday to our friend three times because we would like to annoy him. One way in which we could do that without writing a method is that we would need to display as output, you know, the lyrics to happy birthday. I just made my own version of it. So happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear you, happy birthday to you. If I need to sing happy birthday three times, I would need to copy and paste this code two additional times. And that would allow me to effectively sing happy birthday three times. So after running this, we have all of our text repeated three times. Now a better way of writing this would be to use a method where we only have to write this once and then we can keep on reusing it. Yeah, let's delete all of this. Outside of our main method, that will end right here. We need to create a new method and the way we do that is that for this specific case we have to write static because we're invoking a method from our main method which is static so we need static but not always void and then a unique and descriptive name of this method what does it do exactly so let's call this method sing happy birthday then a set of parentheses then a set of curly braces and we have ourselves a method named sing happy birthday. And when we call this method, what kind of code do we want to execute? So let's copy and paste the lyrics to happy birthday and then place it within this method. Now to invoke a method or call a method, we have to type the name of the method followed by a set of parentheses. And I like to think of the parentheses kind of like a pair of telephones. They're communicating with each other. That's how I think of it at least. And then a semicolon to end the statement. So after running this, this will execute sing happy birthday once. Now, if I need to sing happy birthday two additional times, I can just call this method two additional times. Sing happy birthday, sing happy birthday, sing happy birthday. And I do not need all of this text. I only need to write it once. And then I can just keep on reusing it. And here we have the lyrics to my happy birthday song repeated three times. Let's move on to level two. We're going to create a string variable named name string name equals and make up some name now what if we attempt to use this variable within our method so replace you with name happy birthday dear name okay here's the situation the name name does not exist in the current context methods don't have access to any variables within another method so anything within the main method this sing happy birthday method cannot see so we need to pass what are known as arguments over to this method in order to use these values or variables. So when you invoke a method and you need to send arguments over to a method, we just list whatever we would like to send over to this method within the parentheses. So I would like to pass name as an argument to this method. However, we need a matching set of arguments and parameters. Parameters are kind of like what this method is expecting to receive. And to create some parameters, we list the data type of what we're expecting, followed by some sort of name. So let's just say name. And now we can use this variable name that is declared within the main method. And we now have our name variable displayed within our happy birthday song. And here's how to send more than one argument to a method. Let's create an integer variable named age, and we will display the user's age within our happy birthday song. So separate each argument with a comma. We will pass name as well as age to our happy birthday method. But remember, we need a matching set of arguments and parameters. So we need to add a age parameter. So separate each with a comma, then list the data type of this variable first, int, and then a name. We'll just call it age. And now we can use this age variable within our method. So let's create a line where we will display the person's age. So console.write line. You are plus age plus years old. And let's try this again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear bro. You are 21 years old. Happy birthday to you. 
I guess my happy birthday song could use some work. Now these parameters, they don't necessarily need the same exact name as the arguments that we pass in. Let's rename name as birthday boy and replace age with years old. Okay, then replace any instance of name with birthday boy and age with years old. And this will work the same. So you can rename these parameters. What's important is the data type and the order of the values that you pass in. All right, everybody. Well, those are methods. They perform a section of code whenever they are called, also known as invoking a method. And the benefit of using methods is that it allows us to reuse code without writing it multiple times. We only had to write the lyrics to happy birthday once, then if we had to sing happy birthday, you know, more than one time, we can just keep on invoking this method however many times that we need. So those are methods. If you can, give this video a thumbs up, drop a random comment down below, and well, yeah, those are methods in C-sharp.